Hello everyone, are you short on Supercrat? If yes, I got just the right video for you. Now, before I get started, it does involve using a loophole to farm Supercrats as well as metals and even to a small degree requisition slips. So, if you're not comfortable, if you don't like to use these type of methods, then that is okay. Go ahead, keep playing the game and earn all that stuff like you normally would. For those of you who are okay, be quick about this because I do think the developers will try to patch this as soon as possible. I don't think they will let such a thing slide. Let's begin with how to do this. Number one, you want to equip with the right armor. Make sure you get the best light armor that you have, something that has the most stamina. I would recommend the SC30 Trailblazer Scout. It is available in the free warbond, but if you don't have it, that is okay. Any light armor with good amount of stamina will do. And then of course, you can put in the matching helmet and the cape so that you're looking good for the job and uh, we can move on. For weapons, you want to get the SGAS Slugger Shotgun. We want to use this one so that we can open those steel container doors with a shot instead of having to use a grenade. The rest, it doesn't matter. When it comes to selecting the mission, I would suggest just go with the lowest one, the trivial level. Uh, you want to be able to do this without enemies all over you. Then you also want to choose a place that is during the daylight and you want to choose a map that is relatively easy to see with good visibility. So I would suggest Crimsica and I ended up choosing this mission the terminate the illegal broadcast. It's a smaller map and that's what you want to look for so that you can get to the point of interest quickly. You want to load in somewhere like for example in this map I want to go somewhere in the edge mostly because I want to go around it and I make sure that I can grab all the points of interest along the way. I know that there's not going to be points of interest in where the objective is as well as where the extraction is. So those places usually you don't have any points of interest nearby. So we want to land here and I just kind of go around and pick up all the points of interest along this way. Strategies, it doesn't matter, you can just grab any four. But for boosters, if you have the stamina enhancement booster, use it. If you don't have it, then also it will not matter, just go ahead and load in. The first few times when you start this farm, it might be, I don't know, somewhere between 5 to 10 minutes, mostly because you have to look for all these points of interest. And what you're going to do is start learning where all the points of interest are like in this map for example i know that there are a total of six points of interest i already been here however there are two that they are useless number one this one it requires two people to open so i cannot do it and then, then there is another location that every time i go there it's just weapons it never gives you any super credits or medals or anything like that you want to look for all these points of interest the ones that have the light blinking the yellow golden light where you salute and the door pops up the other points of interest locations are those houses that you see there they usually have a container use the slugger shotgun to pop up them just like that much quicker than using grenade usually it is just 10 super credits occasionally and i really mean very rarely you get one that will give you a hundred i spent an hour doing this farm and i only got a hundred once so don't count on it most of the time it's going to be just 10. so on your first couple of runs your goal is to just go around the map and see where these locations are once you've done it and after you get the last one what you want to do is quit the game. Do not abandon mission or return to ship. You want to just straight out quit that game. And the reason why you do that, number one, 
is you are not abandoning the mission so this mission will stay once you load back into the game that same exact map will be available for you to do it again and that's what you want you want to do the same map because you want to remember and go directly to those points of interest because we're just farming super credits medals and requisition slips those things hit your account the moment you find them you pick them up and once you kind of run this once or twice it becomes super quick like i know that the quickest i've done this is under three minutes so i'm able to get 40 super credits in under three minutes if i factor in the time of closing relaunching the app i know that it's less than a minute it's only maybe 30 seconds or maybe 50 seconds somewhere around there but let's say that it takes another two minutes just for the loading screens and relaunching the app that's still five minutes in this map particular map i was able to get 40 so not too bad that is 40 in five minutes or less i was able to do two runs in six minutes assuming it is 40 super credits every five minutes and you do it consistently that is going to be at least a hundred you most likely are going to do it faster than this so you might be able to get to a thousand i was able to get to a thousand in an hour so you should be able to get to a thousand in an hour so highly suggested if you're short on super credits and you don't mind you know using a little bit of loophole to kind of get this so there you have it hopefully it helps you out if you are short on super credits or even medals and other than that thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Found something new! Injury! What injury?